Kanan. I'm Alexis Joy from Alexis Joy VIP Access. I am beyond excited to be catching up with you again, and we have a lot of excitement to chat about, but thank you so much for chatting with me today. Well, thank you for having me. I had such a fun time last time, so I'm super excited to talk again. <laughs> Yay, amazing. Congratulations again on all of the amazing and exceptional success with your career. Now, we're going to talk all about your phenomenal music project. So first off, can you tell us how you got your start with your music career? Yeah, I mean, I always just loved singing and dancing like around the house. I was always a performer. And it's really funny because I'm actually in the house that I grew up in when I was a kid and my specific memory is me standing right there singing, like show me how you burlesque from the movie burlesque because like that, like, like I just love that musical, I love singing. And I feel like that was around the time that I was like really like vocally trying to sing and, and perform and, and I found really my passion for it. And it was really from there that I joined theater and I, I started to love that. Then I found my manager and then he, he got me in the studio and it really took off from there. The moment I got into the studio, that was like the moment that I was like, I can do this seriously. So yeah. <laughs> that is so amazing. And I love your first like music choice ever. I mean, that is amazing. I could see like a young Kate and just totally jamming out to that. That is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I like use my mom's heels, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and, like, yeah sparkly cap and like this skirt and I was like yeah I mean it's not very appropriate at the age but you know I didn't really know the meaning I just loved like the musical like Christina Aguilera at the time was like the queen for me you know so <laughs> that is amazing well we need to see like a side-by-side -side kind of then and now video of you recreating that but oh, that's sure. amazing. I, got, I gotta dig and try to find the video somewhere <laughs> I love it. Now, not only do you have the most captivating singing voice, but you also write a lot of your music. So where do you get your inspiration for writing your song? So um, a lot of the songs that I've actually written were during times that I was going through certain situations, whether it was with a boy or with a friend or with a girl, pretty much anything that I ever felt like I had mixed emotions and I couldn't get it out of me. It was really, you know, a way for me to cope. I mean, especially when I was younger, I got bullied a lot for, for how I looked and who I was and my personality. And really music was my only friend at that point, you know? So it really, it was a coping mechanism for me and, and really allowed me to just express myself and how I was feeling. So, you know, the fact that I, I have this opportunity and, and, and support to be able to create this music and have other people listen to it. It's just, I absolutely love. And hopefully every song that I release, you know, really, really touches somebody and speaks to them because they're very special to me, each one. Absolutely. That's exactly what your music does. It touches all of our hearts and you have such a beautiful gift that we love, love, love listening to over and over again. But it's just so amazing how music is such a great escape for you. And for a lot of us, when we're listening to your music, it's an escape for us. It's a time for us to relax and feel happy. So we thank you for doing that for all of us through your music. <laughs> you and I'm like ah even when people tell me sometimes like that they listen to my music and like I could dm sometimes like oh your music is like really helps me just even the vibe and like even dancing around the room like it just makes me happy sometimes too and 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 I'm just like to even hear that that I have even the slightest impact on somebody else's like day or life is just that that's like what I want you know what I mean that's the meaning like of kind of why I'm releasing my music so that that's amazing to hear thank you that is so beautiful. Yes, we love having our Caden jam outs and our little Caden music parties. So we always have your songs at the top of our playlist. Now, we know that your second home is the music studio, of course. So can you tell us what the experience is like for you being in the studio? Can you tell us maybe a little bit more about what the creative process is like being there and creating these musical masterpieces of yours? Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> it's funny because with me, I just need to be in a comfortable place with some snacks and a good vibe. And that's like a good enough place for me to really like become creative. And it's really, 
it kind of depends on who I'm working with and the producer. I mean, like I've worked with LB, one of my other producers in New York and Dustin Atlas. And, and depending on the vibe that we feel, it depends on the way that we go by making the song. Sometimes we make the beat first and then we write to it. Um, and then we make the melody. Sometimes I'll have a melody in mind and already have the lyrics and then they'll create the beat around it. So it really depends on what song we're working on exactly. But, you know, as long as it's a fun, positive vibe and, you know, we're having a nice time and we're loving what we're making, that that's really what it is in the studio with me. <laughs> that is incredible. I felt like I was in the studio with you just right then and there at the moment. So thank you for allowing us to step inside that world a little more. That was exciting. Now we have to talk about your terrific new song, Crave. Can you tell us what it was like working on this amazing track? Yeah, so um, I wrote the song, co-wrote the song with uh, Dustin Atlas. He he uh, did Kiss Kiss Baby with me as well, Walk, a lot of the songs that I've um, released. So it, it's always a really nice time with him in the studio. But when we were done with this song, Crave, you know, um, I was kind of having a little bit of a hard time with this boy that I couldn't get over. And I told him, I was like, I really want to write a song about this just to get it out of me, which is normally like how it is. So I told him the situation and, you know, we sat down and, and we wrote about it and it pretty much just explains exactly how I like feel about the guy. But what I really like about the song is that, you know, it doesn't exactly, for me, it is about this certain boy situation, but it could really mean something else to, to somebody. Like my friend was listening to it, Audrey, and, and she told me, she was like, I mean, when I'm listening to it, like, I don't even think about like, maybe it's a boy, like it, maybe it's something that I want, like, like, like food or like going out. I don't know what example she told me, but something like that. And I thought it was cool that, you know, the song could really have a different interpretation depending on who was listening. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited that everybody gets to listen to the song now. <laughs> That is so incredible. Well, we cannot wait to have it again at the top of all of our playlists. It's going to be our most played song for sure. So we can't wait for that. Now, speaking of music to add on to our Caden Party playlist, you also recently released another song that we love listening to titled No Maybe. So do you have a favorite lyric from that song? True. I would have to say it's probably in the second verse. You know that I see through you, but you don't seem to mind. You don't really like to say much, so say it with your eyes. And really what it is is like in this situation, I can always like communicate really well with like people just with my like face and like facial reactions in the eyes. And with this like specific person, we never like would really talk that much. It was just the vibe that was going on between us and like, the way we look at each other. I don't know if you like had had that with a person before, but I just think that line kind of perfectly explained like how I was feeling. And I just think it kind of sounds cool. <laughs> yes, that is so beautiful. All of your lyrics are just so masterfully created. So we love, love, love it. Now fans have something very exciting to look forward to from you. In addition to, of course, all of the music you keep turning out, you have an upcoming EP coming out. So can you tell us a little bit more about what fans can expect from that project? Oh, okay. I, okay, I don't want to spoil too much. I don't want to spoil anything really because I want it to be like a shock. But I mean, some of the songs that are going to be on there have been in the making for, you know, quite some time. And there might be a cover song on there and, you know, which I'm kind of excited about. Maybe we're still deciding. I'm not sure yet, but I'm like, really, <laughs> I'm just really excited for everybody to hear this. And, you know, it's my first, it's my debut EP. And I mean, yeah, it's really going to kind of represent who I am as a person with kind of a mixture of different songs. And I'm just really excited for everybody to hear it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Kaden, you have no idea how excited I am. And I know all of your fans are just counting down the days. So we are so excited for its release. Now we are going to take on a very quick speed round. Are you ready for it? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> so the first one is, what is a song that you have on constant repeat at the moment? Ooh, ah. Uh... Mm, it, kind of, it may have a bad word in the title, but it says F Being Friends by Jessie Reyes. Um, she, she's one of my favorite artists. I mean, she just musically 
and lyrically is amazing. And I just love that song because it's like kind of a song that's just like, you don't need anybody else. You're on your own vibe. So <laughs> I love it. That's great. Now, who is your dream musician that you'd like to collaborate with in the future? Jesse Reyes, too. <laughs> <laughs> We have a double dose of Jesse right now in this speed round. That's so great. Now, what about your dream concert venue to perform at? Ooh. I feel like Madison Square Garden, right? I mean, I feel like that's like the like the biggest one. I, I feel like that's every like singer's biggest dream, I feel like. <laughs> Well, I know we have no doubt that we're going to be seeing you headlining MSG very, very soon. And also, lastly, for the speed round, what is a pre-show must-have you need before a performance? Ooh. Um, oh, gosh. I would have to say I always have to have my, my lucky ring on. I can't, like, do any, like, scenes or, like, performances without it. That's the one thing I have to have. And... Um, a bag of salt and vinegar chips for after the show though. I Besides that, just water. I can't, like literally nothing except water in my lucky ring. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. And I love that we of course have to think about some snacks after the show, of course. That's top of mind, right <laughs> I, I always have like butterflies right before I perform. So I can't eat anything for like two hours before <laughs> because I just like feel like I'm gonna be sick. So I always have to like binge eat something after. <laughs> Amazing. Well, you always do such a sensational job, both in your in-person performances and all of your recorded songs. Now to close out the interview, I'm going to ask you a tough question. Now you have a countless amount of remarkable songs, Kiss Kiss Baby, Walk, You're Just a Boy. Do you have a favorite track you've released thus far? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. I would say so far out of what I do have released, mm -hmm. I would say no, maybe would have to be my favorite. I mean, that's, that's my baby. It was the first song I ever made in the studio. And, and the fact that it's still to me sounds great five, six years later is just like amazing to me. So that's definitely the, my favorite song so far. <laughs> that is so fantastic. Now, you are truly a wonder. You are a magnificent <laughs> singer, actress. You're a multi-threat. I'm so happy to have gone to chat with you again, and we can't wait for all of your upcoming musical releases. So everyone should stay tuned for that and listen to Crave and Know Maybe and stay mm -hmm. tuned for your upcoming EP. Thanks so much, Kaden. Thank you for having me. I had such a fun time. Okay, thank you. <laughs>